Hi everyone, Anne here. Welcome to Anne Makes. I hope everyone is doing well. Welcome to part two of the scavenger uh, Almas glue book that I have been working in. And full disclosure here, I had filmed an updated video uh, following the first one to show you how the changes and why I had made the changes that I did of my glue book. However, possibly uh, due to my own fault, uh, the footage is nowhere to be found. I assume that I unintentionally must have deleted the footage and so now this is the stage uh the state the stage that we're at with my glue book i decided to reinforce the cover of my little journal uh, with some dollar tree duct tapes that i had um i went for these colors because this is what i thought this matched the tissue box the original tissue box really well but then I covered it all <laughs> and then on the other side <clears throat> I used this this Dollar Tree tape and then I found that the edges were lifting a bit because to be honest the the tape is pretty but it, it doesn't always stick well so then I went around all the edges with some clear packing tape <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so that's what I did to the cover. It does mean that I took all the signatures apart. And what happened is in trying to take some of my signatures apart, some of the elastic actually broke. So I have to, I have to rebind everything anyway. So uh, that's the next thing I'll be doing. And then I'll be slipping in my signatures, which are really... Uh, I, I really, I, how could I say, a big cheat on my part because uh, these were already put together. They're just little catalogs that I have no use for. So, that's where I'm at now. In the part that was deleted, I showed you the update where I replaced the black elastic with this uh, blue elastic that I purchased at Dollarama. And I covered the cardboard cover, which, if you recall, this is actually a tissue box. And I covered everything up with some Dollar Tree duct tape. I just like the colors. They kind of match the cardboard underneath, which doesn't matter anymore. But, yes, that is what I did. I also added a little elastic loop to uh, close, to make a closure for this glue book and a brad here now my book has gotten too thick I will have to replace this elastic make it longer so I can actually attach it the other thing I did was I added an eyelet here and strung some pieces of ribbon and yarn these were all leftover bits from other projects by the way so I did make all the tabs for this journal. I made uh, 78 tabs. I talked about that in the first video. I had shown you that I was making the tabs out of uh, recycled cardboard and I was using a punch to make the tabs. I also used a label maker to make all 78 labels for the categories that I made for this scavenger hunt on my junk journal. <laughs> I was inspired by Shannon Green to do something like this and I did pick many of the categories she had picked and I changed a few that suited my, my likes uh, best. So here is the update version of the glue book. It is made of junk and only junk, uh, except for, of course, I had the new materials to cover the 
junky cover, which is the duct tape from Dollar Tree and the elastic from Dollarama. So I've been working in here and I have been hunting for and collecting all of the pieces to make to fill up this book. Uh, here I have I have every letter of the alphabet. I have colors uh, and all sorts of themes that I am intending on filling this journal up with. So for example, this is the A section. I have looked for words that begin with A, a few letters to fill in some blanks. I'm not done. I still have some spots here left and I'm still hunting for words from flyers, newspapers, uh, discarded magazines, catalogs, anything that usually ends up in the recycling bin is basically uh, going in here. I have a circle category. This is my circle. And, and these little plastic pouches that you see are just pieces of plastic either recycled from packaging or other any of any plastic packaging I have and when I find images throughout my day that would correspond for the categories I just put them in these pockets and put them in a journal I have a paint section here my bees my bees are pretty done the reds so this is just to give you an idea of what I am collecting and gluing in here. Uh, this is, it's a lot of fun, but it's also a lot of work at the same time. Putting together, assembling the whole book uh, was a lot of fun. Choosing colors to, you know, cover up the, the cardboard and all that was a lot of fun. And what I'm finding challenging now is filling up the pages and finding everything I need to fill, <laughs> fill this up. It, it's a lot of work, I have to tell you, to go through every piece of junk mail, catalog, flyers that uh, come into the house and I scrutinize everything and I look at everything and I cut everything that I think will be suitable for this book and at the same time I am also growing my collection of collage uh, fodder I, it's incredible how much I've collected over the last few weeks uh, by doing this so by for putting this together I find the words I cut them up or the pictures whatever I am looking to find and in the evenings, I tend to, one evening I will fussy cut everything, and then on another evening I will just glue things into the journal. And it's really a no-brainer. Uh, it's a very easy, passive, sort of meditative thing to do in the evenings while we're watching movies, because that's what we do almost every night is watch movies. So I sit there on the couch with hubby and um, I glue my, my pictures in my glue book. In my glue book, I should say. And I am using, this is my favorite glue currently for this. It is the Pritt glue stick. And I just ordered a, another package on Amazon. I had the package just a few moments ago. Here, they are available as a two pack, as an add-on item when you order on Amazon, if you're an Amazon Prime member. And I believe these were $6 for the two, which is pretty good price. I have a lot of glues, and lately I find that this one has been my favorite for the job. I find the glue to be very, very sticky, and my images stay Put. There are other glues that I have in my glue supply that work well too, but there's been a, several that I've tried 
that I don't recommend. Uh, they the, the glues don't last. But this one is pretty, pretty good, and it is available on Amazon. So you can buy this from the comfort of your home and, you know, not risk life and limb or getting COVID when <laughs> going out shopping. Uh, so that's it. Yeah, so that's my little junky journal. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're inspired to look at the trash and the recycling that comes through your house and get creative with it too. I hope you liked this video. I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. Please like, comment, share. Stay safe, stay healthy, wear a mask, and until next time, stay crafty. Bye. Thanks for watching.